Hello everyone, welcome back to another video with Royals of Games. Today in this video we are going to talk about how you can overclock your PC and get the best experience out of it. But before moving on to that, I want to mention that on my last build I did a budget gaming PC which can play almost any application and any games in 2020 with high resolution and fast performance. So if you're interested in something like that, and your Titan budget, please go ahead to the description below and find out the link for that video and go watch it and enjoy it. For the purposes of this video, we're going to talk about overclocking and the methods of it. Most people who are new to overclocking and they don't know what to do, and they look at some YouTube videos and they install the application and they don't know what's overclocking. Overclocking is increasing the clock rate of your PC and changing the voltage of your CPU. So they don't know what they're doing and they change the voltage and they overclock a little bit with third party application and they leave it there. And on long term overclocking can damage your CPU, your RAM and your motherboard. But in this video, I'm going to teach a very, very basic and safe way for beginners to overclock their PC. And the method I'm using is by using the AMD Radon software itself, which has very good uh, overclocking capabilities. Uh, and this video is only for AMD users, not for Intel. So if you're Intel user, I will have a video of describing how you can overclock your Intel PC and the link is in the description below. But for AMD users, let's continue. So the first thing you need is the AMD Radon software. Let's go ahead to the website. I'm here uh, going to talk about the website and also show you how you can download the software. So the first thing you need to do is just search AMD Radon software in your search engine. It can be Google or any other uh, search engine you want. So here is the, the website. It says Rodan Software Adrenaline uh, 2020 Edition. Download link, we come back to it. But right here I want to explain what they, this means. So they say it it can give you an anti-lag, it can give you a Rodan boost, it can give you a Rodan chill and it can sharpen your image and integer scaling and AMD link. Beside AMD link which is connecting your phone to your PC and controlling your PC and watching your games and looking your computer performance from anywhere with your mobile device and all the other thing they're talking about is overclocking your PC. They're actually not telling you because you're a beginner to them but they're actually overclocking your PC by themselves in the app. So moving on to the download link, you click download now. It pops up on this video which lets you customize the app. That's very nice. So you choose your graphic card, you can choose your chipset also. into your processor but for this video I'm going to choose um, my graphics card that I'm using right now I'm using a Ryzen 3 3200G with uh, Vega 8 graphics so I go to integrated motherboard graphic no so you choose uh, your graphic Radon RX Vega series RX Vega series 64. This one I'm choosing. Click submit now. It comes to this window where it shows which operating system you're using. So if you're using Ubuntu Linux, you just use that. You're using Windows 7, you use that. You're using Windows 10, you click on that. Download link, download Radon software, the latest version. <laughs> download and it downloads 
Okay. Download you to your start menu. Click on it, open it, and there you go, you're here. So they're saying that using this you get a turbo charge on your PC and you see an average of 23% performance increase. You can see in this game is up to 10% higher FPS, up to 22% higher FPS, and in Overwatch up to 38% higher, higher FPS. Go to the home page. Uh, as you can see on Hitman 2 game, and um, I got while uh, streaming videos and opening other applications, it's still with AMD Radeon, uh, with AMD Ryzen 3, 3200G with Vega graphics, I still got 55.8 FPS on the game, which was very 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 nice. High resolution and high resolution setting 1080. Okay, moving on, I want to show you how you can overclock it using this software. So, this was the home page right here. You can connect your phone and do it with your phone too. But we're not going to talk about that right now. Gaming performance so right here it shows you another feature that this has it shows you the performance of your PC you can see the temperature is 51 49 Celsius and it shows you your my GPU uh, Vega 8 graphics it shows you my VRAM my CPU and RAM And you click right here if you want to use overclocking feature. So right here you see we are on a standard. There is two options, eSport and gaming, which are both pretty much the same. So on standard you're using your same uh, CPU, RAM and other features uh, at a standard rate. But then once you click on gaming, they start uh, enabling this thing rather than lag. What they basically do is they overclock your PC. So you, the only thing you do when you want to play game, you click gaming, or if you're running an editing software which uh, takes lots of energy from your CPU, you click gaming or eSport. They're both the same, as you can see. And right here, you can look at these performance, but don't touch them. I don't recommend touching them, but it you have to know that once you do this, they automatically overclock your CPU. And one other thing is they do is if you're using an integrated graphics like me, a uh, Ryzen 3 3200G Vega 8 graphics. And if you're using a dual channel 16 gigabyte, what they do is Vega 8 graphic with Ryzen 3 3200G only has 2 gigabyte of RAM. And if you're using a dual channel 16 gigabyte, 16 gigabyte of dual channel works like 32 gigabyte of single channel. What they do is they cut 8 gigabyte of your RAM since it's dual channel and that 8, uh, eight gigabyte of your RAM and they put that to your integrated graphics that means you have 10 gigabyte of RAM for your graphics card it turns your graphics card from a cheap graphic card to an expensive $400 graphic card they both can do the same thing once they do this, which is very, very, very great. And in order, because your RAM is dual channel, your 8 gigabyte acts like 16 gigabyte of single channel. The rest for your rest of uh, PC. What they do is in order to make it look like um, make it look like it's. 16 gigabyte again 
they add a virtual memory for you from either your SSD or from your HDD if you're using HDD with 6 gigabyte per second you're fine so you're using a 16 gigabyte that day when you have 16 gigabyte of dual channel memory with this app your PC is running with 16 gigabyte dual channel and 10 gigabyte of uh, graphics RAM that enables you to play almost any game even if you are rebuilding your PC with the video I showed you uh, budget gaming PC with Ryzen 3 3200G and Vega 8 graphic you don't even need to change to gaming you can play everything on a standard right the FPS I got 55.8 right here I, is, I still can get that without changing to gaming and without overclocking my PC just because I'm using a dual channel memory of 16 GB and I'm using this app they providing me and cutting 8 GB of the dual channel putting it to the integrated graphics and also um, cutting 8 GB of my HDD and converting it to a dual channel and putting it back so I have the same amount of RAM that I want to run my PC with and I also have way higher RAM for my graphics card. Anyway, if you don't understand any of these and you have a question about them, please feel free to comment below. I will be happy to answer your questions or your concerns. Uh, if you like this video, please go ahead and give a subscribe and a thumbs up. If you don't like this video, comment me why you don't like it. And uh, thank you so much for watching and have a good day.